everybody. Welcome to Wool & Wine episode 16. I'm Tammy. I'm Claudia. I'm Janet. And welcome back. Today we're filming from Bellbrook, Ohio, which is a southern suburb of, of Dayton. And it is March 28th today. 2023. Mm -hmm. 2023, yes. Yeah, really important for any future viewers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> so, true. so before we get started, we want to thank all of our existing viewers because you guys are so awesome and welcome all of our new viewers because we obviously have so many new viewers. Um, we just want to let everybody know that all of you are welcome and we're so happy to have you here. Yes, thank you and thank you so much for all your wonderful comments. It's just so inspiring and heartlifting to see that we help all of you guys and inspire and and you help us. Yeah, you help us a lot too. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. It is it's just such a wonderful community and we're so happy to have all of you. Yes, absolutely. Feel like family. Yeah. Yes. So, cheers to cheers you. To you. Cheers. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. We'll mm. taste. We'll yes. taste and talk about that later. Yeah. So, <laughs> the this is a knitting podcast. If you're new to us, um, we're going to be talking about what we're wearing, all of the things we have finished, any works in progress that we have. And then we always talk a little bit about dream knitting and any new purchases that we've made or maybe um, swatching. Yeah. Who knows? There may be some of that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Claudia, what are you wearing? I am wearing the Bright Feather by, and I didn't write it down. Sorry. Oh, Jennifer Steingast. Jennifer Steingast. Oh. Thank you so much. much and um, it's made in cloudborne fibers alpaca silk fingering and the color work is uh, carabella gossamer and the the colorway for the background is called prism and that is very very aptly named it's beautiful and if you, if the sun hits it right you can see a rainbow of colors, yeah. really. It almost reads a plummy brown when mm -hmm. it's not in the you know in natural light. Yeah. But it is such a gorgeous color. I have that color as well. Yeah, you do. And she's the one. How I, I got it? Yeah, I got it first, and, and then we all got that. Well, you got a, a different a, color, a more yeah. um, red, red color, uh -huh. reddish black. Yeah, but, oh my right. gosh. Yes, I love this pattern. Oh. And the fit is unbelievable. It's it just is. fabulous. And mm. let's see. Oh, and here's here's the color work in the gossamer. And it's sparkly. It's got some sparkles in it. And I hope you can see them. But I just thought that was perfect for, for this kind of a motif. It is. And it shows up so well. Yeah, yeah. I, like <clears throat> I don't know if it's the studio lights that are hitting it or if it's the natural light coming through the window, but oh my gosh. And it's so soft. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. it, it, yeah. it is a good one. But darn it, it's cloudborne, right? Yeah. Yeah. So sorry, y'all. You might still be able to get cloudborne on a D stash somewhere. Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> and if you can find this, yeah, I would say get it because it's lovely. And I still have a pile. Uh, yeah, of I think I have like five or six skeins left. So. Yeah, and that's enough. Five mm -hmm. or six is probably yeah, enough so. for two more sweaters Almost. at least. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. I did make one modification because, and if you can see the sleeve, it has the color work on the sleeve, and I just shortened it because I think it would have come up to like here. And I didn't want it that high up, so I just shortened it, and I like it that Good way. Good idea. You're yeah, the boss like of your it. own knitting. That's so exactly does. right. So I modified it that it way. It fits really beautifully. It does. Yes. It's a perfect fit. I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I like the, the feathers. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could do that in so many different yarn combinations, mm, and yeah. they would all look so different. I know. And you could even do, like, 
this right here uh -huh. and these up here in different colors if you want oh you sure could oh, yeah. yeah 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 that yeah. would be good in like a color changing yarn as well yeah it would mm -hmm. but yeah. boy that white sparkly I love it, it just looks like opalescence it does it's yeah. almost yeah. it makes me kind of feel like i don't wear this a lot because i kind of feel like it's kind of kind of dressy and kind oh. of like Christmassy, but Heck no. no. Heck, heck no. Right? Heck no. <laughs> I wear that every day. Life is made for living. That's <laughs> right. To wear all... I'm going to bring sparkle to people. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Shoot, yeah. Put that thing on with blue jeans if you want to. Yeah. Well, I got black jeans on today. Yeah. So. It looks, <laughs> looks great. great. Yeah. <laughs> Thank uh -huh. you. Wow. Yeah. So that's really good. So what are you wearing? I'm wearing the Yume by Isabel Kramer. And here it is. I finished this, I think it was three episodes ago. Looks really good. It does. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, and it's your color. I just love too. it. It's, <laughs> right? This is the Destination Yarns and Passport. And the colorway is Bordeaux. And this yarn is made in Ohio. Up, up in Cleveland area. Is it really? Yes. That's good to know. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I love it. It's love beautiful. It. it looks great. It's and a perfect fit. Yes, I had made this pattern before. All of us have made a yume, mm -hmm. and this is my second one. And it's just a really nice pattern. It's it's even for beginners. It yeah. is. Yeah. It's a nice starting out with <clears throat> lace. You know, beginning lace. Yeah, because it really I mean, is just yarn overs mm -hmm. and... Wasn't that our first sweater we made? Because I think it was my first sweater. I don't know if you made it. It um, I'm not sure. I, it was one of my very first ones. It was early on, but so, I, we were sitting on the deck, and I think we all started together in... Was it... What year, What month was it? December? Mm, no, I think March? because we started in March. Okay, so March. It could have and been so like April, April, May, June. May, something like we that. We might have yeah. been sitting up on the deck, but I have like this vague memory of sitting there working on yums together. Yeah, well, I have this vague memory. Well, it's not so vague. Of <laughs> ripping it out. <laughs> ripping it out like five times. Just I wasn't like, going to bring it up. Screwing but... it up. <laughs> <laughs> it made me cry. Did it? <laughs> no, well, almost. <laughs> At least the last time. <laughs> so, well, you know what? We knit because we love doing it. We love making every single stitch and putting thought into each stitch. And if you have to rip it out and start over, it's okay. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. all we're doing is knitting again. And it's, you know... Right. Although I have been a little bit heartbroken before. <laughs> <laughs> so have I. <laughs> yeah, but we, you did a beautiful job on yeah, that. Yeah, that looks well, really thank great. thank you. So this is versatile, so you can make it a short sleeve, you know, however you want to make the sleeve. Yeah, three quarters. And I did mine like a um, bracelet length. So I have my bracelets See your spine. on. Shake <laughs> that off. Yeah. My watch. <laughs> Yeah, that's so, perfect. It's perfect. I love it. And you did that yeah. pattern, didn't you? Because I see a seam down the side. I did. That we stitched. Uh, like oh, that yeah. little pearl yeah. stitch. Yeah. Yeah. Little pearl stitch on the side. Yeah. Oh, this so cute. It is. Yeah. I mean, really. Of course, I love this yarn when I bought it at the Young's. Oh, right. the, oh yeah. Oh, we always called it because it's at the Young's Jersey Dairy, but it's in Yellow Springs, which is in the area. Mm -hmm. And it's called the Wool Gathering. So this was the first wool gathering I went to, my very first yarn festival. Um, Tammy and Claudia were on vacation, but so I went twice that weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and this was one of the yarns I bought. Yeah. So... Um, and she was a brand new knitter, and yes. Roger, her husband, went with her and helped her pick out yarn. Yeah, that was really sweet. He did. Yeah. He did. That's really nice. And he went back twice. Yeah. Well, he, he went, and then he went back again. But that's, <laughs> right. You know, yeah, both days. That was so. very supportive. He supported. That yes. was really good. Yes. Very <laughs> supportive, for sure. <laughs> okay, so I'm wearing the Etude by Rarico.
and I knit this back in July of 2020. And it's this all over lace pattern on the yoke. I hope that's coming through the camera. I made it longer than I usually do, but this is the 38 and three quarter inch size. And I think it's, um, it's not tight, but it's probably like zero ease. Yeah, I think yeah. Yeah, I would say. Um, I'm pretty sure that I did no modifications and I knit this in Expression Fiber Arts Sincere Sock in the colorway Celestial Canopy. And that is beautiful. I just, mm -hmm. I love all the colors. I, mm -hmm. I hope that came through. I think she still makes this color. It's all the blues and yellows and purples and golds, but the color work doesn't show up, as, or not color work, the um, lace work doesn't show up as well in a variegated colorway like this as it would in a plain color, but I have knit it twice, <laughs> and someday I'll wear my other one. It's in a butterscotch color, but this is fingering weight, and I used... Um, 269 grams hmm. so that is I, I probably if I made it today I bet it would be more like 200 grams because at three-quarter length sleeves mm -hmm. and it's you know it's probably four or five inches longer than I usually make my sweaters um, I bet you wouldn't need more than two skeins of fingering weight that's, I mean, I would guess. What I don't know is how many yards there were. Right. 200 grams. Yeah. But and with the lace, that's going to kind of um, eat the yarn a little bit. You think? I would think so. I don't know. That's hard. There's some twisted stitches. This was, um, it was a heads down focus pattern. I can tell you that. And I did use stitch markers between every single repeat, mm -hmm. starting at the neck. It was top down. Um, I think Rorico has a few patterns out there that are absolutely gorgeous. But um, yeah, I just thought I would wear this today because I know that I haven't worn it on the podcast before. Mm -hmm. So, have you finished anything? No, I haven't. Have you <laughs> finished anything? I have. Hey. Yes, I have. <laughs> Purple day for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have finished the Grace Notes Pullover by Hohi Locatelli. Oh, look at that. Oh, I know. And here, oh, look how gorgeous. That is stunning. Here it is. That really is a cool pattern. Yeah. And all that pretty gorgeousness on the back. Oh, good job, Janet. That's really it's gorgeous. Stunning. Thank you. It is. It's beautiful. So, wow. <clears throat> I had a slow start on this because I was concerned about the sizing and whether I made it too small, but it actually fits beautifully and I'm really happy with it. So you were concerned because you didn't think your sleeve openings were going to be big enough? Right. Once you put the sleeves on and blocked it, did it pull it down a little mm -hmm. bit? Oh, that's so good. So it did, um, did you make block them out really nice. Did well, you make the sleeve openings longer? Did you go further? No. Oh, you I didn't, didn't do any, any kind of variation there. <clears throat> <clears throat> I think I added a couple extra stitches just to make sure I had plenty in the arm. Some, sometimes on these hohe patterns, I think some of the arms can be a little bit... Well, she's got small. really thin arms. <laughs> right. So, you she know, does, a yeah. designer's yeah. going to design the size that they wear mm -hmm. and then grade up and down from that. So it makes sense that her sleeves would be <laughs> narrow if she's got skinny arms. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, she's very so, fit. She but is very fit. <laughs> right. She was... Does marathon Very beautiful. Yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's kind of crazy. So, most likely in one of our upcoming episodes, I'll be wearing it. Yeah, oh, it's going to have to be yeah. seen. It, right? Because yeah, before it gets too warm. It's yeah. springtime here. Getting there. 
It's spring. It's been spring for a whole week. And <laughs> it doesn't feel like it no, too much. No, we've had a lot of rain. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so um, I have got four finishes, and I'll start with the Lune shawl. So I had this almost done the last time. The Lune is by Natasha Hornby. And I have finished it. I have wow. blocked it. Isn't that something? That's gorgeous. And I did not put the same number of tassels on it. I didn't put as many as she did. Um, I still have yarn and I could do more. But I feel like this is probably enough, and I cannot wait to wear this with my mm. cream-colored jean jacket. I think oh, that yeah. would be really be pretty. Mm -hmm. And jeans, and maybe a rust-colored top or tank top, who knows. But um, That'll be so pretty. I mm -hmm. This was such a soothing, easy knit. This I did this while we were on vacation with friends, most of it. Um, I did get the slip stitch color work done mostly after we got home mm -hmm. on on that lower section. But boy, oh boy, I highly recommend this pattern. Actually, anything Natasha makes is a very well-written pattern, and I can't recommend it highly enough. It's just really, really great it's beautiful yeah so um the next one i did i don't have with me it's grayson's red and gray hat oh right, right. Mm -hmm. and so i've put up a picture of that and baby grayson is actually wearing it he is one of our great grandbabies and i sent that home with my daughter on Friday and I could have kept it here to show but the weather's changing and you know they don't stay that tiny forever so that was a 64 stitch hat and I used Barocco Vibe and Alpaca Bloom so it's these two yarns and then I, I actually thought so these are the yarns that I was knitting my um, test knit with it's um, I'll show you here in a minute and I wanted to use up the rest of the vibe so the Barocco vibe is no longer being made which is a bummer because that is such a great yarn there are a couple of other yarns out there that are just like it in mm -hmm. composition um, 45 percent cotton 45 percent wool and 10 percent nylon and I think drops has one it might be drops wish or drops air, um, but it's the same same kind of composition. Um, but I thought I was using every single bit of that. I made the pom pom and wound it using it till the very end. And after I finished his little hat, so the stripes and I, I wasn't sure that I was even going to have enough of the red to finish it. So I put stripes in it and. I get all done and block it and it's sitting there drying and I happen to go through my basket of some scraps and there's a whole nother ball of Barocco vibe <laughs> sitting there. So if he outgrows this hat, because it looks so darn cute on him as you saw in the picture, um, if he outgrows this and needs another one from next year, I'll be able to make him another hat <laughs> in that same yarn because it's so super soft, you know, with that uh -huh. cotton in it and mm -hmm. the brushed alpaca from the alpaca uh -huh. bloom. You just can't go wrong with that. So anyway, um, the next thing that I want to show is the sweater that I made in exactly that yarn. And this was my test knit for the Strickachik. And she hasn't released this yet, but I thought she was going to right after the 22nd. So I've actually already even put a reel up on Instagram with all the photos mm -hmm. of this. Um, she didn't say I couldn't because she's told me all along, yes, please show it on the podcast. So here it is, and I will wear it for you next week. 
Yeah. Oh, it is Look so, so cables. good. Yeah, the cables are on the front and the back. But I did, I wore this yesterday and it is just so incredibly scrumptious. And I will wear this next time when Janet wears hers. And Claudia's going to have one I'm of these getting done. Close. She's yes. getting I'm real getting close. close. But I, so that is Samantha, the Stricka Chick. And so keep an eye out for this because it's coming soon and it is absolutely a fabulous sweater. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huge gauge. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did that make huge, it go huge. really fast? Um, there's a lot going on with all the cables, so I can't say that it was a fast knit, even though it's a big gauge. Um, the seed stitch, there's a lot of seed stitch down the sides mm -hmm. and a lot of cables. Almost every row has got something, something going on. Mm -hmm. But it's, um, it is such a gorgeous sweater. I'd love to have it in a cream color. I just oh, think that would be, would be like, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll see. I I think next time I'll probably do it in drops air, which is what it called for. Drops air held double, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but really, it's whatever you can get gauge with. So um, the single strand of vibe with alpaca bloom, the same thing I did um, baby Grayson's hat with, is what I used on that. And it's just lovely. Okay, so my next finish is the New Year's cap. And I don't even know who this is by, but it will have been on the screen. Sorry. So this is all done in holst garn, and I've got it on a balloon, which is how I blocked it. This is holst garn super soft. Oh my gosh, is that not gorgeous? Yes. Um, mm, yes. So yes, yes. I was making this for a friend, and I'll take it off the balloon. I did that so I could show you um, the top part of it. My friend Michael accidentally, my, our, our friend Michael, um, accidentally shrunk his hat. And I said, oh, no problem, I'll make you one. So uh, Michael has a bald head, shaves, shaves his head. So I decided that I would knit an extra layer to keep his ears warm. And then I did, mm, I think, three rows and then a purl ridge before beginning the pattern and then I just whip stitched it down. Well, I tried it on after it was finished or as I was going and realized that I made it, my row gauge is off and it's too shallow. And I also, even though it looks so fabulous in the camera, so pretty. it doesn't, oh, wow. the yeah. colors don't show up as well as they should against the black. Um, it's actually a charcoal, so this is the uh, Holscarn Super Soft Oxford Gray, which is a really dark charcoal gray, mm -hmm. and it just really should have shown up better than that. So, I have Pussy Willow. Is that the right color, Pussy yes. Willow? Yes. It's kind of a beigey gray, so it's more, I think, more of a neutral. And I'm gonna knit this again. So this is definitely gonna fit one of the grandkids. I am not worried. It's not, it's not just gonna go to waste. Um, but I'll give this away and um, I will make Michael another one. And I'll still do that same thing with um, the lining. I just think that's such a great idea. And if I could figure out how to do a complete lining and do all the decreases or start it at the cast on and make it long enough and then start the hat and then tuck it up inside, that would probably be even smarter because he's bald all over his head, not just on his ears. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we'll see if I can figure that one out. I might be able to do increases the same way the decreases were done on it and just reverse engineer that bit and get it out to the right stitch count and then just make it, of course, longer. Because I really do feel like it needs to be about an inch longer for an adult male head. And I may have Michael try this on just so I can know for sure um, about the fit. But anyway, love how it turned out. I'm mm -hmm. happy to have made that for him. And there was a lot of love knit into every stitch. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. 
that yes. love will pass on to somebody else and then he'll get his own new one. <laughs> so now is that stranded color It is. Work? That's all stranded color wow. work. Yeah, you did so such a beautiful job on and that. And that was a free mm -hmm. pattern. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Which, hello, oh, free patterns. Yeah. you got to love that. Pretty that is. Yeah. <laughs> it's gorgeous. You made that just so nice. Yeah, if it fit, it would be even better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I do think I could do a better job with the colors. I think the next one I might leave out the yellows and just stick with the purples and the reds and the oranges and blues mm -hmm. and see how that goes against those darker colors against the light background. Nice. It's pretty. It's really pretty. Very can pretty. I try it on? Oh, sure. You absolutely can try it on. I don't think there's a front and back. I okay. did a good job weaving in all the stitches. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's perfect on you. Well, it just barely comes down here, yeah. Isn't that cute? Oh, that is cute. That's adorable. <laughs> my hair's all squishy now. That's okay. You just pluck those curls up and you'll be good to go. <laughs> all right. <laughs> perfect. Okay. okay. Do you wanna... So I guess we're on to whips. Whips. Why do you, whips, do you have whips? Whips. whips. <laughs> yeah, I've got lots of whips. <laughs> and this is one that I know I've shown you before. It's the Daily Pullover by Paula Piera. And it is made, I'm making the size 45, and this is the Pearl Soho Linen Quill fresh pickle mm. so i have the body finished and i'm working on a sleeve so wow. i know i'm excited yeah, i'm trying to get this finished. finished for my my trip so i've been working oh spending time on beautiful. it yeah so you're gonna make the long sleeve or the short sleeve you on know, that one i'm thinking the long sleeve mm -hmm. you'll appreciate the long sleeve yeah one. i mean i could see doing one in a short sleeve though right really mm -hmm. I mean, it's not Maybe a Maybe a name. lighter yarn. Yeah. Well, this is pretty light. It, it is. is light. Yeah. With the linen and yeah. everything. Yeah. It is yeah. very light. I and don't it's... know how that would... F it's got a lot of wool. I mean, I guess early spring for us would yeah. be okay. Yeah. It could be early spring. But boy, if the sun hits you, it's like... Is I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I I'm, I turn into like a hot puddle of sweaty mess. In yeah. <laughs> hot, hot sweaty mess. A hot, a hot puddle of sweaty mess. <laughs> I can't I can't do wool in the sunshine. Yeah, I'm not sure I could either. But it would be still nice to do in a. It would in be. a linen like cotton or yeah. something. Yeah, cotton linen, short sleeved. That'd be easy to yeah, do. Yeah, that would be mm -hmm. really, that is such a gorgeous pattern. Yeah, it really is. You're getting closer to all of us wearing them together. <sighs> I you know. Are. It's going to be a rainbow. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, yeah. That was one. Okay. You wanna, do you want to go? Okay. <clears throat> I am working on the Arco Iris by Hohi Lacatelli. Ooh. Man, let's see if I can get this out of here. All in one piece. Oh, wow, look. She's got some stuff done on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, she's separated, separated for, for the sleeves. Wow. God, so I've got I love that yarn. Yeah. this underway. I'm very happy with it so far. It fits beautifully. I just tried it on. The yarn is gorgeous. Um, so I'm anxious. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to keep working on the body, but then I'm going to work on this. The neckline next. Before I do the sleeves. I'll tell you what, but, that rag uh, one is gorgeous. I is. love the way she did that. Is it like three stitches before you do your make ones? Oh, or yeah. Or four? One. Um, it's, it's, it's three. It's three, yeah. Wow, that is so pretty. It's funny how you forget. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, yeah, you're, you've already moved past that. I'm done with that. <laughs> Moving on. Moving forward. Oh, boy. That's so, so pretty. I love that yarn. I love your oh, I, I'm loving it, too. I'm finding, though, some of these come off well, as yeah. I'm knitting. Like I'm like, oh, not allowed to do that. Yeah. So, 
the yarn I'm using. Back to the Wait, sheep. let us guess. <laughs> sheepish creation. <laughs> that is correct. The sheepish creation. She's got to be almost So finished. it's the Superwash yeah. Merino Decay. Uh, the color is Rainbow Tweed. And I, you saw it on the sweater, but I don't know why I'm holding it up again. So pretty. Um, oh, it is. It's <clears> beautiful. <throat> so do you have any sheepish creations left after that? The, no, that, that'll be it. Um, the, another pattern I'm going to show you today, though, we'll also be using that. So when are we going to be able to get more? We're going to have to, have to, to go to the Mid-Ohio <laughs> Fiber Festival. Yeah, right. do we know when that is? Mm. We're going to have to find that one. We're going to have to figure that one out. Yeah, yes, that was like sure. a two, two hour and 45 minute drive. Is that what it... I think so. Something like that, yeah. yeah. And that's a small... Small festival. Or was it a one hour and 45? Maybe it was only one hour and 45. It's Columbus area. Oh, so I would think yeah. it, it would be only an hour and, an 45, hour and 45 minutes. So yeah. not that far because we're in Dayton. So yeah. I don't know why two um, stuck in my head. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So are you making any modifications to that or? No. No. Doing that to pattern. Doing it to pattern. Yes. That is going to be so good. And it looks like a nice big gauge, so. Mm hmm Yeah. What it's is a that, DK like a weight. Seven, so or seven or eight? Or? I think it's a, no, this is a six. A six it is a 20 stitch gauge. Oh, okay. Ah. So it seems like most of my um, patterns that I'm working on are like size five or six needle and they're 20 gauge or 21. Yeah. <laughs> I was doing size so, six needles on I'm everything jealous. for a while. <laughs> and I ended up buying a new set of Chiagu size sixes because I just couldn't find them. It was, they were in mm -hmm. every product. I mean, it's not that I couldn't find them. I had no others. Yeah. I had used all of my nitpicks. I've got two sets of nitpicks. I had two sets of Chiagu and I had all four of those sets being used, used on a project. <laughs> yeah. So it was crazy. That's yeah, amazing. Yes. Alrighty. Um, so I am working on the Lyra by Natasha Hornby. And I am loving it still. So I have made a little bit of progress since the last time I showed you. I have worked down the body a little bit. And I just so picked up for enough. one of the sleeves. I'm a little concerned about the circumference of the sleeve. I tried it on and I'm knitting this exactly to pattern, but I think that I'm going to have to go up a needle size on the sleeves in order to do her, the decreases to get to the stitch count that I need to. Uh -huh. And the other thing is, I'll show you the yarn I'm working with. Um, my size, which is a, it's the number three, so it's a 42 inch. Um, I'm using Pearl Soho Widgeon on this. And this yarn is just fabulous. I've got a um, label here to show you. There we go. Um, so I have Honeysuckle Pink, Whiskey Brown, and Eucalyptus Gray. And my size calls for three of the, let me do this, three of the Eucalyptus Gray, but only one each of the Honeysuckle Pink and Whiskey Brown. And I haven't weighed these, but I'm getting concerned. So I have got quite a bit of the body left to do. I mean, I'm only, oh, I don't know, four inches maybe below sleeve separation. And I usually go about 12 inches total, including the ribbing. And this is also going to have that horizontal ribbing on it. Let me get that a little bit closer so you can see. So you pick up stitches and knit sideways on the ribbing. So the ribbing actually goes around sideways. Um, but 
I'm not sure I'm gonna have enough yarn and I think I wanna do the festive sleeve. So on the picture that I showed, you'll see that one sleeve she considers the sports sleeve and the other one has this really cool design on it. And as much work as I'm putting into this, I feel like the festive sleeve is the right way to go. So I am probably gonna go ahead and order one each more of the honeysuckle pink and the whiskey brown just to make sure I've got enough for that. And this yarn, I, I've told you so many times how much I love that widgeon. It's 100% um, fine Falkland Merino, non-superwash, and if I have any left over, that is not going to be a hardship. I'll just right. <laughs> some knit, color work. knit a hat, do just, some color work, do right. something for a baby. But this entire um, sweater, although it looks complicated, it's not. It's like the most intuitive, easy slip stitch pattern ever. It's just knits and pearls and slip stitches and it is fabulous. But I am gonna go up a needle size, which means it's gonna eat more yarn. But if it doesn't fit my <laughs> my sleeve on the way down, then or my arm on the way down the sleeve, it's not gonna do me any good. So Yeah, I like your idea with making the festive sleeve yeah. Yeah. for that. I think it's that'll so be so unique cool. and pretty. Yeah, yeah. it's so different yeah. than anything else I have in my right. wardrobe. And I do have yes. a pair of um, gray kind of, it's, they're linen pants, but they're kind of a heavier linen, and that mm -hmm. would just be so much fun. They're kind oh, of real drapey pretty, and flowy. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I, I picture that. So. What else do I have? Yeah. <laughs> you, I know you have more. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Since I don't have anything finished, I have lots of words. <laughs> so I'm working on the Cartwright by Jenny Atkinson. And I'm doing it in a size 49. And the yarns I'm using are Cascade, and they're four different colors, charcoal, silver, white, and lemon. And... I think I've told you about this before. It has a 27 stitch gauge and I went down to a size two needle for the ribbing and there's four inches of ribbing, <laughs> which took a long time. But I did get the ribbing finished and I have the first row of color work. So I'm excited about that. Yay. Yay me. Yay. <laughs> I know, right? You know how long that takes. So then I knit four more inches of just stockinette in the light gray. And um, so then... Oh, after the color, this little color work yeah, section, you it, knit four, four inches. more inches of just the light gray. And then there's more color work, which has oh. white and yellow. No, white and dark gray. And then you go to a slip stitch pattern. And these are my, this is my gauge swatch with three, <laughs> three different colors of yellow. I couldn't really decide. This is the one, a lemony. This is a sunset. And this is, this is, this sunset is the, um, Holskarn Super Holskarn Soft. Super Soft. Thank you. And this is Holskarn Super Soft in a different, maize, color maize. But I'm kind of liking this yellow. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had to decide, you know, I, I was just trying to decide which one was going to work best. And the yellow wins. Is winning out. I do like <laughs> the lemon. I do too. Yes. <laughs> it really shows up a lot better than the others. The others are it much does. more subtle, much more subtle. But it's, it's beautiful. And um, I am knitting this in the round. The pattern, once you do it flat, so you do front to back and then stitch them together but I couldn't figure out why I had to do it that way and I don't really like all the purling <laughs> I would have had to do so I'm doing it in the round and right. um, I did the math make sure all my color work was going to turn out even and it will excellent yeah, yeah. so that's it, the way to do it then it yeah. is yeah I completely agree yeah it's bottom uh, it's bottom up and so once I get up to my arm my pits then I have to separate and then I'll have to do flat but and then you do the sleeve separately which is different for me I've never done that before so that'll be is it from the cuff up I believe so are those also flat 
you know, I d- you're I'm, not sure. I'm scared it's so to look. Far away. <laughs> it's so far away. <laughs> and I'm scared to look. <laughs> well, I, I don't think you do sleeves flat. Yeah, yeah, you sometimes. actually do sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm hoping not flat, but I think they are because mm-hmm. I did, re- you know, because I was thinking, oh well, I'm gonna have since the pattern was written to do this flat, then I'm gonna have to do it in the round. And I said, oh, well, the sleeves. Let me look and see how they do the sleeves flat. So okay. yeah, so yeah, but that's okay. I last time I did this, mm-hmm. this color up here. I said, oh, it's going to be simple to do in the round, so I'm not worried about it anymore. That's going to be so gorgeous. Yeah. I'm glad you got that ribbing done finally because that was like, <laughs> yeah, it was the bane of my existence for a while. Four inches. <laughs> four <laughs> inches. Yeah. <laughs> Janet knows yeah. how that feels. I know. On the day of pullover, I did the four inch with a US 2 needle. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's a it long does time. take a long time. So it does. Yeah. I will show you this again when I start, after I get through my four inches and I get another row of color work. So. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's, really great. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a beautiful sweater, and I know I'm gonna love wearing it. It's just gonna take some time. Yeah, that Cascade Two Twenty is beautiful yarn. Yeah, yeah. And that's the non superwash version, right? Correct. Spit splice. Yeah. Yeah, that's the best. all the way. Yeah. All that's right. The best. So Janet, do you have a, another whip? I do. Okay. <laughs> I have the Be Beautiful by Pia Trans. And, as you saw, this is another v-neck <laughs> with the beautiful, I separated for the sleeves. Oh man, that's... As those beautiful bees. Oh, look I love the bees. Done. They're so cute. Oh yeah. my goodness, we haven't seen your no. bees. <laughs> V-necks I'm working on. <clears throat> so I'm using oh, two yarns that. and we can only guess. <laughs> we can only guess what the first one is. <laughs> you are <Come> correct. <laughs> Sheepish Creations. <laughs> oh, and it sweet. is the alpaca silken linen in a fingering weight. And I'm holding that double with the Juniper Moon Farm Finley in colorway fresco. And this is a lace weight. And together it makes this absolutely lovely drapey soft fabric. Oh my goodness. That is so just great. Oh, that is heavenly. Feels good. <laughs> Oh, yeah. wow. I want to see so the bees up close. Be... Oh my gosh. Aren't this cute? <laughs> cute. Those are wow. adorable. Pia, good job you. Yeah, man. <laughs> man no, that it? is an adorable. amazing, adorable design. Yes, I know. They are so cute. Part of me thinks, because my hair is going to cover those bees up, that I need some bees in the front somewhere. <laughs> you could put one down, down low. Yeah, before I get to the lace, I was thinking yeah. maybe put a bee or, or two down there. One on each side maybe or something. Yeah, that would be fun. Huh? That'd be so cute. It would be cute. So Well, now that you know how to do them. Oh my yes. gosh, that is it's so adorable. gorgeous. Wow. Yes. Really excited about that pattern. Yeah. That'll be a beautiful summer wear. Yeah, yeah. that is really pretty. <clears throat> Very. Mm-hmm. Wow. Looking at our other patterns, I'm like, hmm, I want to make some other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, so speaking of some, some other stuff, my next one is the Scrappy Striber by Pia Trans. And I'm excited about that one. Oh, yeah. I've had to slow myself down on this because I'm so <laughs> close to being done. You can't Woo. even. Look so, oh, oh, you guys. stripes are so oh, beautiful. Wow. Look at this. 
Beautiful. Wow. Oh. I am, so I'm finished the, with the sleeves. Oh, you are. And it actually, it comes to my waist right now. Mm -hmm. um, so I just started the next gold stripe. And I'll finish that and then do the blue to finish it off that with is ribbing. So, so pretty. And I'll just make it as long as I need to. Oh, you know, this is the most amazing pattern. I am loving every minute of knitting this thing. If you're a new knitter and you're interested in doing something with stripes, I highly recommend this. It is so well written. There's nothing that you have to wonder about. And the way she does the increases to get, you know, because the yoke grows in the stripes, the mm. way she does that is seamless and it's just so easy. Um, I am doing the size three, which is a 43 and a half. So it's going to have plenty of ease for the mm -hmm. summertime. Um, the yarn I'm using is Pearl Soho Santalina. And I'll show you, I want to get all the, I think that's it, maybe. Um, so I have... The orange is Robin Redbreast. The yellow is Golden Pollen. The dark blue, blue-gray color, I think it's more, it reads really blue. It, it looks just the same color as my jeans, it is Well Water. And then this is Beige Bunny. So here is tag from that and this is so fabulous I can't even it's 70% organically grown cotton 20% rayon from bamboo and 10% hemp and I love this so much one of our friends that comes uh, knits with us on Thursdays is knitting a new sweater just getting one started and she's using, is it the orange and the beige, I think? Well, anyway, I told her, definitely use this yarn. Mm -hmm. It's that good, and it mm -hmm. just feels that good. So I am... Oh, yeah, that's really soft. It's so yeah. incredibly soft. I mean... Be nice and cool. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. It doesn't matter when I'm working on this. There's just enough of that bamboo in it, the rayon from bamboo, to make it always feel cool to the touch. Uh -huh. Like when it lays on your lap in a pile, it's kind of warm, but I think 43 and a half, is that what I said? Yeah, that's gonna be plenty of positive ease and it just, I made sure that it wasn't gonna be up in my pits. Yeah, <laughs> don't want that in the summer. <laughs> you know, and it's just gonna be lovely. Oh my I cannot gosh. wait. So we're doing these Pia Trans patterns, and Claudia's gonna show you one here in a minute because we're supporting her. I know we talked about it last time. She's doing a knit-a-thon on April 22nd, and we now have our time slot. We're gonna be at 8 p.m. Eastern time, and so we'll do um, an hour podcast in the middle of her knit-a-thon so we'll be able to support her on that so she doesn't have to be on camera the entire time mm -hmm. maybe she'll be getting some rest because i think at, at that time it's two o'clock in uh denmark Ooh, yeah mm. so 2 a.m huh? yeah 2 a.m in the yeah two in the Ooh. clock in the morning yeah so um hopefully she'll be getting a little shut eye while we're podcasting just to help her out just a bit but we're so excited to mm -hmm. be able to share yeah. that time with mm -hmm. her viewers yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. And all of you need to make sure you watch because she is amazing. If you haven't knit one of her patterns, you need to go out and give them a look because they are wonderful, mm -hmm. they are. wonderful patterns. Yes. So I am knitting the and this is another Pia Trance and it's called First Snow. And 
I did make some pretty big modification to it, but this is, um, so she had a, the, the color work outlined with stitches and I decided to fill it in. And I'm telling you, I love it. I think it's just gorgeous. And this yarn I'm using is one I got off of <laughs> actually um, Amazon. And this I would call an icy green. It's just a very pale green and it's uh, from Silk City Fibers and it's 51% cotton and 49% bamboo. And the uh, color work I'm using the um, Malabrigo Cicero in the colorway Paris Night. And I'll tell you, I love these two colors together. Yeah, they and look so good. It's just so, and it's so soft. I think it's going to be really drapey yeah. and cool. I was looking at the color. So back here, when uh -huh. you hold it here, the color is, uh, it is accurate on the camera. Oh, good. Um, when you held the cone up, it was blowing out. Yeah. But boy, it looks, it's just that perfect pale green back here. Yeah, it's, it's it really, really it's showing fruity. up really, really well. Yeah. And yeah. she had some interesting, interesting increase pattern in here as well. So she has some really interesting ideas. And in the pattern, she had a couple, um, a couple YouTube videos that I couldn't get to work. So I texted her, I sent her a message and mm -hmm. she sent me the links from back and got them to run. And so that's what these little guys are. So it's not, not quite slip stitch. It's not color work, so I'm not exactly sure what you call it. But yeah, they're cute. And um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about this, but this is like gorgeous. They almost mm -hmm. look like baubles because they're raised up. They are but raised. It's, it's almost like a little cross. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're so beautiful. Or like a little star. Yeah. Yeah, yeah kind of like a star. They're pretty. Well, yeah. the first snow, it makes you think of oh, the, right. the yeah. snowflakes, oh, crystals, yeah, yeah. Snow, yeah. ice crystals that come with it. Yeah. So, Pia, I hope you don't mind that I filled in the, filled in the, the color work, but it's just turning out beautifully. Mm -hmm. It really is. I can't wait to finish it. It's funny. That feels a lot like mine. It does. The, um... The content is almost identical. Yes. You had something else in yours. I had 10% of something hemp. Okay. Oh, hemp. Right, yeah, right, but, right. But it was, you know, the cotton and rayon from bamboo. Uh -huh. It's like, that's mostly what that is. That's just, oh, you're going to love wearing yeah. that too. Yeah, and it's going to be short sleeved. So, and, I, and I'm sure you could modify the pattern and make it long sleeved if you wanted. Oh, I'm sure. It'd be quite easy, so. Yeah. I actually think she did that recently. Did she? With a couple of hers. She yeah. might have. She made some short sleeves and then turned them into longer sleeved with yeah. a little bit heavier. Right? I know she has a Be Beautiful, that's a DK. And it's a long sleeve and it's oh, really? absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's... do you have more? I do. Okay. <clears throat> I have the Killer Queen Cow by Lyrical Knits. And here's what I have so far. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look it's at that. Like, That's so beautiful. Those collars are so that. good. <laughs> they are. Yeah. I'm really happy with it. So fun. I had to kind of put it aside a little bit so I could work on my other stuff. It would have been nice to finish this, but then I wouldn't have got anything else done. So I did kind of, <clears throat> I worked on it a little bit, but not, not could, as much as I really wanted to. That goes this perfectly is, with their sweat. This is a yeah. lot of fun. Oh, it really look at is. That. Yeah, working that's on this. Really good with everything she owns, yeah. practically. So, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so I got a little bit. I got more to go I, before I'm halfway, but I'm almost. I'm getting there. Yeah, that looks <laughs> so good. It is. It's gorgeous. And I'm using the Malabrigo Rios yarns, and these are the two colors. Um, this is the potion, 
and this one is pearl and it's worsted weight worsted weight pattern and too much fun yeah oh that's so pretty mm -hmm. those would so, make good gifts it's it a really be. fast mm -hmm. knit and it's so mm -hmm. enjoyable everything about it is an enjoyable yeah. oh that's a good idea yeah wouldn't they make good gifts mm -hmm. yeah i think so yeah so and nice. it doesn't take much i can't remember because i knit off the cone but i think yeah supposedly it just takes the one of two each. you know 200 grams juice gains and that's it wow hmm. Here, here's what the tag looks like nice yeah that's yeah. really gorgeous that is gorgeous talking about being good with a jean mm. jacket that would be oh, good yeah. with a dark wow. sure a dark jean jacket for sure yeah that's do you have really a purple pretty. one do you have <laughs> you need to dye one <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, kidding. But I mean, you can need so, a purple jean jacket, I'm just saying. <laughs> Tammy made one of these too, and hers are the inverse. It so is. So she has the darker color as the background and then the lighter color. Hers is absolutely gorgeous, which yeah. is why I made this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could go either way with so, it. It's just as beautiful. The colors just pop against, mm -hmm. against each other. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, everything we make is always so beautiful. It mm -hmm. is. Well, you know, you have the ability to do that yourself. So, mm -hmm. alrighty, I have one more. This is the Helia by Joanna Eng. Yeah. And this thing is just coming along. That is just gorgeous. I have mm. been working away. Mm. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, yeah. Oh, separated my for the gosh. sleeves. I have separate. Oh yeah, I have separated for the sleeves, and I'm. Uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe an inch and a half down the side. So it's got this beautiful twisted stitch pattern down the side. I am just. Oh, I cannot wait to get this done. I want to be wearing it now. Mm -hmm. So, the yarns I'm using are becoming quite a mess <laughs> and but I also have one more of each one ready to skein up and I probably will be doing that today so this is the mohair is passion yarns and the colorway is frozen and then the posh sock is by McMullen fibers and that's Sense and Sensibility. And look at all those gorgeous colors in here, the little speckles. And it looks to me, I'm not worried, I haven't done helical knitting because these look identical. I don't see any real color variations, although I am. <laughs> I haven't done any helical knitting, but because this is becoming such, um, I bet there's 25 grams maybe left in here. I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is wind that up and start helical knitting just the bottom mm -hmm. portion until this is used up and then this will be more than enough for the sleeves and I think that'll be fine. Um, if I get the body done and I have still some of this skein left, I'll helical knit the first few rounds of the sleeves mm -hmm. but I haven't felt like I needed to I didn't I just kept looking at it going oh it's fine it's gonna be fine <laughs> it's fine because <laughs> I didn't want to deal with four at the same time you know mm -hmm. yeah but um yeah. I I think I I've talked myself into it just this minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the body where you're just going round and round, that's yeah. the perfect time to start yeah. helical. Yeah. Yeah, and then when I get um, to the sleeves, it's just not going to matter because that mohair, all the mohair, you can tell that it's very tonally, like spot on. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's going to mask any changes in color or speckles or whatever yeah but because it's speckled and that's done by hand and maybe i should okay i will 
<laughs> Just convinced. <laughs> I will. I'll, I'll start today or tomorrow. <laughs> or tomorrow. tomorrow. Whenever I pick it up again. Yes. yes. That's cool. Yeah. So you have another? I have one more. Okay. And it's the Grace Notes by Hohi Locatelli because Since Janet was doing that, and it would turn out so beautifully, I decided I had to cast it on, and I did. <laughs> and the yarn I'm using is a Rowan Island Blend in colorway lemon. And it's actually kind of a looks more like a not ripe lemon because it's more green. <laughs> yeah, it's got that little bit of green. But green. here I am. I'm working on the front, and I'm doing both both at the same time. So. I have two different skeins of yarn going, so I figured that way I wouldn't get as confused, maybe. So Well, they'll be the same. Yeah, they'll you be the same. You know that for sure. Yeah, oh, they will yeah. be, That'll be That's a good idea. Yeah, I did mine separate. Yeah. So. And that's so, a really good idea. There's the back. Or did I? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. You did do them separate. Yeah, I think you did. So anyway, yes, I've been like, I've seen, been watching her make some progress, and I decided, oh my gosh, what a gorgeous pattern that is. Oh, well, that's a nice Oh, one. yeah, you're doing such a beautiful job oh, with it. Oh, thank you. Oh, my you. goodness, it's going to be so pretty. Oh, I love yeah. mine. And this yarn is just yeah. fabulous. It um, has cashmere in it, and oh, it has wow. its wool. In cashmere, I believe. I didn't bring my little. Yeah, maybe I so to blend. Is that I what you said? went to blend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, mm -hmm. here's a. Oh, good. Yeah. You I'll just happen to have a label. I happen to have a label here, and yes. it is. Oh, I know it does. It is. Seventy percent wool, fifteen percent alpaca, and fifteen percent silk. So it doesn't have cashmere, but. <laughs> <laughs> that feels so like it lovely could. silk and alpaca in there, yeah. so yeah. makes it nice and soft. I don't know what that makes an island, what, what that has <laughs> to do with know. an island. Yeah. I kept thinking cotton was going to come up in there somewhere, but it hasn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's really right. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really a fun knit. It really is. Yeah. So good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is just here. I'm sorry. That's, that's like, all right. No, I'm sitting here fondling your knitting. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay. It's super It is good. really soft. Yeah. And I'm doing the size 48 because it's a drop shoulder. And I did block it. I was about down to... to oh, you can almost here. see the line. You can see yeah. the line right to here where I blocked it because I wanted to make see how it stretched to make sure it was going to be long enough. And then I am doing mm -hmm. going further with the sleeves because her her sleeves were like six inches and I'm going now make it 12 and it's going to be up probably up about here so I'm, I'm going to seven on each right when I did that when I did the sleeves I had to rip it back and make mine a longer sleeve as well oh did you mm -hmm. I was wondering I about did because they were they were just too small yeah do you have another drop shoulder sweater that you've mm -hmm. made oh yeah you should forward. measure and see yeah across you know uh, where that's going to fall on the other one and right. see what the depth is and if you like that yeah well, because already... there's no sense in guessing well you can always keep going on this oh yeah 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 it's yeah. not that big a deal if you no. mm -hmm. So it's you actually said seven inches. wool, silk, and alpaca. alpaca, so that should be able to spit splice. Yes. So it doesn't matter that you broke the yarn. Nope. <laughs> right. No, it does. <laughs> if you need to go deeper, you go deeper. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, I'll probably do that. Um, or we can help you when you get to there pin this uh -huh. and you can pull it over yeah. and just see how that feels because nobody wants anything tight no. right there. No, and I've got right. some I got some pretty big arms. <laughs> so. And that's where I was talking about earlier <clears throat> is once I, I made these, I had to rip it back and then make this a little bigger, but then I added some more stitches when, oh, when you okay. picked up. The initial cast on, yeah. Ah. I think I added four more stitches. Wrote yeah okay four more stitches than what it called for oh. right just oh, to make sure i had out this way well see row gauge mm -hmm. is different Ro than oh, stitch you're talking gauge about stitch it's way? when you pick up around here uh -huh. she doesn't you never pick up 
every single right. row because your stitch gauge and your row gauge are different. Uh -huh. And your stitches are going this way where these are right. all going this way. So you pick up at a different rate and she picked up four oh, extra I see. Mm -hmm. I around see. the hole. Oh, but I the see hole still saying. needs mm -hmm. to be big enough right. to begin with. Right, which right, right. Well, and I was kind of thinking, wasn't it like the, it's like every three stitches, you know, pick one up, then it depends. So, so I'll have to look and see because it's just the seven inches or it'll yeah. be much bigger. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's three out of four. Sometimes it's four out of five. It depends on the designer, uh -huh. I think. Um, I, you know, because button bands and all that, it's the same kind of thing where mm -hmm. you're knitting in a mm -hmm. different direction. And right. Yeah. Don't want it to be puffy. No, no. <laughs> you don't want it to be puffy, but you want it to definitely be long enough. Yes, yes, for right. sure. So, yeah, so I'm excited about that. Well, heck, you might be ready yes. by Thursday if you do a few more rows on the front. Oh, yeah. You might be ready yeah. on Thursday to try that on and let I us pin it and help could. you out. Yeah, we'll see how I, how I do on my, we'll see how I do on my uh, daily pullover. Oh, right, Because right, I'm cause... leaving a week from Saturday, so. Oh, boy. Yeah, so I kind of want to get that done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do bracelet lace. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> let's face it, the sleeves are not that big a deal. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, so I made a little progress. We can sit next to each other, and I can knit on one sleeve, and you knit on the other. Oh, hey, I like that. <laughs> I would help you. <laughs> <laughs> She's so kind. <laughs> so do we have, um, I have no more whips that I'm actively working on, although yeah. Rick keeps reminding me, guys. He's <laughs> like, so how's my sweater coming? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, luckily Roger hasn't asked me about <sighs> his that I haven't cast on yet. <laughs> I said, you know, when somebody is knitting, making something for you, it's a little bit rude to get snarky about it. <laughs> <laughs> so he kind of went, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of funny. Yeah, I'm like, hmm. Yeah. There you go. That's funny. <laughs> Right, so I will uh, get working on that. Yeah. I have a lot of things. I'm, I'm still working on my socks. I've actually put some rows on my um, the DRK Everyday socks that I've oh, nice. had. I mean, those are kind of my, I wouldn't call them travel knitting. It's more like in the car for appointments and whatever, but I haven't had any appointments lately, so <laughs> I feel like I need to get them out and do some rows every once in a while. Yeah. I'm still working away on those. And I've got mm -hmm. all that yarn from Lisa from Fiber Nymph Dye Works. Hello, Lisa. I <laughs> love your yarn. I want to get some of that on my needles, too. I just want to figure out what pattern to use. Um, I do like the DRK every day, but I don't think I can stand doing ribbing for all my socks. Maybe I'll do a vanilla sock in between and then do another one of those because mm -hmm. it is a fabulous sock pattern. Huh. I mean, it looks funny, but it fits so good. Yeah, it does look funny. I have to admit that. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe they'll make that my first sock pattern. It should be. Yeah. And honestly, as much as you're doing with your tiny needles uh -huh. on your... Um, Cartwright. Uh, the Cartwright, yes. You, you could have had... Six pairs of socks <laughs> knit by now. You're probably right. <laughs> Has anybody ever thought about how many stitches we make in a sweater? Oh. <laughs> it depends. Yeah, no, I haven't. I try not I to. I don't even any. want to know anymore. A lot of stitches. It's a lot of stitches. Y'all have to. Lot. I mean, y'all, everybody would have to do their own because row gauge is such. So different, yeah. So different. No. It's really hard to hit row gauge. So you'd have to, like, measure your row gauge mm. and do the math. It was just a silly True. thing I was thinking about the other day. I'm driving on. Because we talked about how many yards we use, and then I go, I wonder how many stitches. <laughs> I don't want to know. Right. <laughs> Boy, that would be a big number. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. But it's like, how many breaths do you take in a lifetime? Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> right. Exactly. But number. anyway, so do you want to talk about some yarn? I didn't even, I didn't buy anything this time. I'm being so good. Well, I have some yarn yes. that I've had for a while and I bought a pattern it's called Joni by Natasha Hornby
and I have this yarn. It's called, it's a Queensland Savannah. It's 66% uh, silk and 34% linen. And I'm thinking of using this for that pattern. That would be beautiful. Oh, yes. Because her, because it's, it's a 21 stitch gauge, so it's going to be a little bit loose, but she wore a top underneath it. And I have a top about, it's, a little bit lighter than this but it's in the same in the same color family yeah, yeah. yeah. so i thought this would be perfect oh, oh that's, that's a gorgeous, gorgeous color for summertime. Yes. Yeah. time yeah yeah so that's one of those things that i'm i'm gonna i want to make this summer i guess my head's starting to and that's a beautiful pattern she just came out with that one that is gorgeous yeah. isn't that gorgeous yeah, yeah. Yeah, she has some beautiful things. She had a lot of test knitters, and I was out looking, you know, after you said that you bought that, I was looking at some of them, and they are, every single one of her testers did a gorgeous job. I mean, mm -hmm. the, oh, mm -hmm. the variety of colors and the sizes and the fits, it was, it looked good on every single person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful pattern, yeah. so... Yeah, so starting to think summer knits. Yeah, so you yeah. have some yarn there, Janet. Are you? Do you have right. some stuff you're working? So on? little knits <laughs> <laughs> had a closeout sale on this Barocco Providence, and so I couldn't resist, and so I bought this, and this is colorway. I think it was tea rose. And so I bought a sweater's quantity. There was a pattern that I was interested in uh, making, uh, the Bloomfield. So. Have that for that. You want me to go? Sure. sure. Okay, so here's, the, this is more yarn that I have. And this we bought at the Mid-Ohio fiber festival mm -hmm. and it's a slub yarn and at first I was because she had used a slub yarn for a rocket tee and I was going to do that and then I kind of like to vary up what I do so I saw this pattern called I don't know it's Abydos A-B-Y-D-O-S and it's made right. by Lily Kate France oh that's the one with the rounded yes okay. yes and so I really like that pattern so I thought I would try using this as Yakagani yarn it's a it is a um it's superwash merino and nylon and then put this with it for the um there's just a few rows of uh, mohair at the top and so I thought that would just be really a pretty color combination. That would be beautiful. Well, we thought it was going to be beautiful for that for rocket tee. For the rocket tee, tea, right? So you know it's going to be pretty for that. Yeah, I did do a swatch. And this, this yarn's not the easiest to knit with. It's, um, so... Well, it's not the smooth knits that we're used to. Well, that's for sure. <laughs> but what I heard somebody talk about was they tried to push all the slubs towards the front as they knit and it made it oh. a really like a slow difficult knit mm -hmm. and i have some of that yarn that i bought from lisa from fiber uh -huh. enough dye works we were talking about the slub yarn asking for patterns and some people suggested a few but i knit with that once before and tried to do i can't remember what it was it was something with lace and i can tell you you can't do lace with it mm. but i just let the slubs fall wherever they fell mm -hmm. the only time i had difficulty was with the cast on so i almost feel like if i when i use those i have other minus i have a gold yarn and i have a kind of an aqua colored it's two different sweaters quantities. I think I'm gonna use smooth yarn for the cast on of something as close to that as I can get and then knit with it. So you might even oh. wanna give that a try. Yeah. Because it's hard, those slubs get in the way with a cast on, you kind of want that cast on to be even. Right. Mm -hmm. And it makes, it really um, yes. stretches a stitch out. Mm -hmm. hmm. 
That's true. That makes sense. It, yeah. yeah. So, but that would, I, I can picture that top. Mm -hmm. And I just think that would be incredibly beautiful mm -hmm. in those lovely colors. Yeah. So, yeah, I would say give it a go. But if you don't have colors to match that exactly, where whatever, mm -hmm. you know, because it's got so many golds and mm -hmm. well, roses. Well, I have a, I have a yarn. That rose color? Yes. Park rose. Mm -hmm. Yes, that would work perfectly. That would do, oh, yeah, you could would. definitely cast on with that park rose. Yeah, that's a good idea. And then just start yeah. using that, yeah. And I have, I, I just pulled down... I've got one of those plastic zipper things that a comforter came in, and mm -hmm. that's what I keep a bunch of my skeined up mm -hmm. scraps in. <laughs> and I just had that out today. So if you don't have your skeined up, I have a no. small one. I do have some skeined okay. up. Thank you, though. Yeah, yeah, and that's a great idea. And actually, this this top, there's two two versions of it in pattern. One of them is sleeveless, and the other one has long sleeves. They call it sweater, like oh, the balloon wow. sleeves. It's beautiful, and I'm thinking I might just buy the one with the long sleeves and just don't add the sleeves on. Oh, right, right. Okay. It, as long as they're made the same. Yeah, at the top. I don't know. That's one thing. That my only concern was. Hmm. I can't remember because I know that that the sleeveless one it's the yoke that just comes around right and what i don't know is how she did under the arms but heck maybe you could do the sleeveless one and just pick up stitches oh there you go that's an idea because too. why would that be any different right i'm just not sure we'll have to look at the pattern and think about it well i could buy one you could buy the other and then there we go <laughs> and then we'll just look at what how what the difference is in that sleeve that's pick a, up. yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, and see. But yeah, I, I totally agree. That would be a gorgeous yeah. um, use of that yarn. Yeah. And we'll have to see how that goes. <laughs> but yeah. I've got three skeins of each of those colors, though. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, who knows? Uh, so, what do you have over here, Jan? And I know okay. that you still have some. So, for my dream knitting, I know the last couple episodes I had a couple things. Each each time I, I mentioned some dream knitting that I haven't begun yet, but. <laughs> Um, I have another dream knitting that I've also been thinking of, which is The Throw Over by Andrea Mowry. And I have these two beautiful yarns <clears throat> that I wanted to make, use it with to make this. And the, this one is the Yarn Hero. And this is a Merge Worsted in Colorway Coastal. And this is the Winterburn Erin by Ba Ram Yu. Wow. That's so and good together. I realize this is a worsted, <laughs> a worsted pattern, but it's color work. And I really wanted to um, start making it before it got a little too warm. So I really still want to do this. Mm -hmm. Well, you want to do color and, work while it's fresh. Uh -huh. Right. And this, I in her throw over, she uses like five different colors, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, however, I, th I want to make it easy on myself, so I'm just going to use this one color, and I think it'll still look pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, Can yeah. Can I look at the end? Absolutely. Oh, look how it's going to change anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's gonna, show, oh, it is going to change. Show them that way so that they can see how those colors, it's going to change yeah. a lot. So it's we don't gonna... look like you use multiple colors. Right. So oh, yeah. I really want to get this on the needles also. I've got several things. And before I even think about all my spring and summer knits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I hear you. I feel like I'm, I don't know, I'm just far behind when, in reality, I made several sweaters, but. <laughs> yeah, you know, I can do it. There's so I'm, many. I feel like I'm the one far behind. I don't think any of us are I've far behind. I've been so wishy-washy on what I wanted to make, and then I'll cast something on, and then I go, oh, I I'm not feeling it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so well you did you had analysis paralysis, yes. but you have you've moved past that and yeah. now you've got some really great things on your needles. Yeah. I mean, 
Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that is a lot. We have a lot of really beautiful things. We mm -hmm. should never feel that way. And <laughs> well, just be, yeah. I mean, there's three of us, and some of you have said, oh my gosh, you know, how do you ladies knit so much? Well, we're retired, <laughs> <laughs> and we can knit as much as we want to, but yeah. it's not a race. No, it's not. Knitting mm -hmm. is one of those things that's just supposed to give you comfort and peace and allow mm -hmm. you to you be your creative outlet to, mm -hmm. you know, just let your creative juices flow and do what you want when you want and don't feel pressure to knit. No, exactly. For sure. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, we don't feel pressure to I knit. I don't really. We no. want to show you all the things, but, you know, I've got... But I do want to knit. I do want to <laughs> knit. I've got like seven bags of oh project bags or more up there that I haven't, things I haven't touched in weeks or months and they're not in the frog pond they're just not sitting what, you know they're mm -hmm. i don't feel compelled to work on them right uh -huh. now that's and good. it's okay to to do that I, yeah you know we are the boss of our own knitting mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. well, just so many things i want to do and yeah, yeah i hope it's not enough time this one cardigan i really want to make it's from uh Never mind. <laughs> but you have Sorry. a cardigan. There's a cardigan. You There's a make. cardigan that I bought the pattern for a while ago, and I haven't done anything with it. It's from Thea Coleman. Oh, yeah. And I, Matista or something like that. But yeah, yeah, yeah that's another one I want to. Well, I bought that Winter Speech Cardi pattern a year ago. No, more. More than that, yeah. More. It was right after it came out, probably a couple of years ago, and I haven't done anything with that. I bought yarn for it. I think I bought yarn for it three different times because I keep you, I use the yarn for something else. But I actually have um, Rowan felted tweed in a gorgeous colorway that is earmarked for that. But I just haven't felt it hasn't made the top of the list yet. You know, yeah. the queue keeps growing and mm -hmm. all these shiny things come out and you mm -hmm. want to knit them. And I just feel like you should knit what you want to knit. So. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling very thirsty, you guys. Oh, <laughs> I hate I to change too. the subject, but I'm thirsty. Well, so how do you feel about heading over to the tasting table? Absolutely Sounds love perfect. it. All right, we'll see you in a minute. All righty. So today we are tasting Hall Napa River Ranch Merlot. It's a 2010, and we are Hall Wine Club members. So... <laughs> This has been laying down in the wine cellar for a while. I don't know if you can see the sludge in oh. the bottle, but we'll have to be cautious. Um, we were careful with it when we opened it up. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, the, the cork actually split in half, and I had to very gently ease it out, and it, it did pretty well. So the taste characteristics for this um, are more on the bold side, more on the smooth than tannic, more on the dry than sweet, and more soft than acidic. So let's give it a smell and see what we... Mm. So, wow. Man, yeah. that's big for a Merlot. For, uh, yeah. Mm. So it says that we should taste oak chocolate and tobacco dark fruit plum and blackberry and then cherry red fruit and mm. raspberry yeah that's some mm. really good really taste the raspberry yeah and the and dark the fruit cocoa. like the dark cherries maybe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, that's a lovely. That's really good. Unfortunately, it says that this is unavailable for purchase, but like I said, wow, it's juicy in my mouth. Um, <laughs> it is a 2010, so you might find it out there somewhere. If, yeah, if somebody's I'm sure doing... more recent. Is there any yeah. more Merlots? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Hall still makes a Merlot. They still make yeah. it. So, yeah, you get a later year I'm yeah. sure of this and still be fabulous yeah I'm sure because this is this is drinking very mm -hmm. very well it yeah. is very mm -hmm. nice and yes that's what I was just gonna say so smooth so 
it it's about a fifty dollar bottle, um, but we're pretty happy with it. That's mm -hmm. yeah, worth it. Yeah, it was it was definitely worth it. Um, like I said, we're wine club members, and for a while in Ohio, we couldn't get our wine club shipments because the Ohio liquor laws are very odd and very strict. So I think Costco started selling Hall wines, and it wasn't the same wines, the quality that we could get through the wine club, but we still weren't able to get any of our shipments. And I haven't I don't know why it changed because sometime in the last year we've been able to get back in the club mm -hmm. and got reenacted or whatever. Um, so Hall was one of the places we visited when we were out there last time. Good. Great winery. We, oh, yeah. We've been there too. Mm -hmm. And we're also members of Hall. Mm. That is so good. Yeah, I highly recommend that. Yeah. All of Hall wines are, too. <clears throat> are really good. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so if you see a Hall and you're not sure if you're going to like it, just buy it. You'll yeah, like it. <laughs> you'll like it. <laughs> that's true. They I don't think. disappoint. That's yeah, for sure. That yeah. is for They're sure. all pretty darn tasty. Mm -hmm. All right, so I guess we've gone, we've been here long enough. <laughs> yeah. mm. Thank you for hanging in there with yeah, us today. Thanks so much. Yes. Um, please like and subscribe. We keep checking and <laughs> they keep telling us on YouTube Studio that we have 51% of people who watch our videos regularly are not subscribed. So if you could hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment, that would be so awesome. We love hearing from you. Mm -hmm. We do read all the comments. Yeah. And yes. oh, we got we to try to we try to respond, but that, we don't always get to it. Yeah. We um we did get an email from May Jo. She yeah. received her project bag and yarn and needle gauge, mm. and she was thrilled with it and promised to send us a picture of whatever she decides to make with her yarn. So um, that's really cool. And when she does, we'll share it with everybody. Yeah, yeah, that'll be so. Fun. We thought that so was nice. cool. Yeah. But until next time, if you can't be with the wine you love, love, love the wine you're with. Cheers. Cheers.